time, and we are very, very proud of the things that's going on. Okay, uh, Dr. Charlton, if you can help me with um, this next presentation. I don't know if the kids are in the other room, but it's time for the, me to share the 2020 Atlantic County Mock Trial Champions. Now, this happened last year, and during this time, um, I recognized the students with, with a letter uh, to each student and reached out to, to the advisors, uh, but we wanted to bring those students here, Mr. Michael Martirone and Mr. Trevor Zampa um, are the advisors, and I believe the students are in the other room. Is that yes. correct? And they can hear you And right they now. can hear me right now, so it's time to come to the boardroom to receive your recognition. <laughs> Some music. Debating? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Education. This is the 2020 Egg Harbor Township High School mock trial team, and they are um, county champions. And Michael Martirone, as I said, is their advisor, and he's going to tell us a little bit about um, their experience and their success as well. Um, but it, go ahead, I'll do that. Now. Yeah, <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, Dara, would you mind coming up here for a second? So, um, real quick, so what is mock trial? So, every year the New Jersey State Bar Association develops a problem for New Jersey high school students. And from the end of September to really the end of, the end of January, we compete. And the problem rotates between what's called a criminal case and a civil case. And our students have to argue the problem, weigh in the fact pattern of the problem. And it truly allows students to dive into the law in various aspects. So at each and every one of these students uh, served in the capacity of a witness or um, a lawyer, and I'll just acknowledge those briefly. But it takes a lot of heart and commitment. Quoting, uh, quoting Martin Captain, a lot of heart and commitment and grit. And it takes, you know, two hours a night of practice after school. So we're talking six to eight thirty, nine o'clock at night, after they've had their baseball practice, their softball practice, lacrosse, all the others. So they're coming to us already exhausted, already with. AP course loads. So they are really uh, the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. And they are working on this analytical problem from, again, the end of September really to the end of January in those dark, dark months of winter. And last year in 2020, we were able to, uh, we captured the title for the first time ever. And uh, thank you. <laughs> that would not have been made possible without the commitment of our students, but also our attorney coach, Derek Quartone. So I'm just going to turn it over to her just briefly to say a couple things. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm actually an Egg Harbor Township attorney. Um, I'm an attorney at Westmoreland, Vesper, Quattrone, and Beers. And sometime in 2017, I was told that uh, the high school coach wanted a second coach, a second coach, to help with his Egg Harbor Township team. And I said, oh, how much work could that be? Of course I will help. <laughs> and um, I started as a sort of like the backup coach. They met two or three times a week, and I would go once a week and give them some help. Well, two years later, guess what? 
I learned, turned around, and there was nobody else coaching, but, you know, as, as far as outside coaching, but me. So, um, and I'm like, okay, well, now we're going to do it my way. <laughs> and we did. And these guys were amazing. Um, one of the things I felt really strong about was to teach them how to argue ethically, morally, and, with, and civilly, um, to make points and to make arguments without being mean and mean-spirited, um, but at the same time not to be run over. And um, I, I basically feel that that was my lifetime of work, and this is what these kids learn to do, both as the attorneys that are cross-examining and direct examining, as well as the witnesses that have to learn how to answer questions that are put, presented to them somewhat critically. And I think that each and every one of these kids were exemplary at this. Not only the year they won, even when they came in second, first, sec, yeah, second place, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, but whatever. They, they did well. They really, they learned the concept of being, um, you could be argumentative without being negative. And these kids will take that experience they learned through mock trial here and hopefully uh, exercise that in the boardroom, in the uh, conference room, and I know f guaranteed some of them back in the courtroom because some of them were excellent, excellent lawyers. And uh, yeah, big round of applause for Darren. Just to tell you just a little bit about our students and about our program, in the 11 years that I've done this, we've had students go to Harvard, Yale, Columbia, Brown, uh, Princeton, uh, Cornell, uh, University of Virginia, University of Pittsburgh, University of Virginia. We have uh, several students, alumni, that are practicing lawyers uh, in circuit courts and law, major law firms up in Boston. So our students do go on, and this is a valuable program. So I just want to give a shout out to each one of, one of our students. So we have senior Renine Rahani, who's going to Stockton University. Renine is, uh, was our defendant this year, and she is one of 22 students nationwide that is helping write a national civics curriculum called the Educating for American Democracy Roadmap. So, <laughs> we have Danielle Sharon. She is going to Stockton University, and she was just awarded a $10,000 scholarship from, what's the name of it? The local union 825. So, again, impressive. She's part of our ALA. We have Isabella Spina. She's a two-year lawyer on the team. Uh, she's a junior this year, so she's going to be weighing down, uh, or not weighing down, but she's going to be anchoring the, team, anchoring the team next year, so we look forward to that. We have Karina Sharrett, who's only a sophomore. She's going to be coming up as a witness. We have Annette Diaz, who's going to Yale University this year. She's been a tremendous student as, and has done several uh, summer programs throughout uh, the country. She's going to be a great advocate on behalf of the law. So we're crazy <laughs> We have Jason Hill, who's going to the University of Miami. Excellent job, Jason. Uh, I'm going to say Ethan for the end. We have Gab Garcia, who's going to Stockton. And we have Madeline Coyle, who is a junior. She's one of our lawyers. She is going to be a lawyer next year. Uh, and she'll be a senior next year. And I think she's going to be uh, one of your uh, student board reps. So you guys are going to see her uh, a little bit more often. And then we have Ethan Saul, who is our head lawyer. Uh, Ethan did a remarkable job for the past four years, and one of the reasons why we were successful last year was Ethan uh, was able to argue both sides of the case and secure us at the championship. So, a very impressive team. <laughs> and we do have alumni, a quick shout out. Molly Galati is at University of Delaware. Michael Donchi is in the United States Naval Academy, or excuse me, the United States Navy, excuse me. Uh, Tyler Weller is in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, Nicholas Seppi. Uh, for a board candidate at Stockton University, and we've uh, we've had a quite a we've had quite a ride. So these are remarkable young men, men and women, and I just want to take the opportunity to say thank you from the administration for support of this program and your continued support because civics education and programs like this are tremendously important. So I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martirone, and thank you, um, all students, for, for your efforts and for your expertise, and you certainly make us hashtag EHC pride. But, you know, what's so important tonight is that this information was shared, you know, um, just to learn 
one about your championship, but then about each and every one of you individually, um, to, you know, about your goals and, and you know, where you're gonna go. You represent in the end A Cover Township, um, A Cover Township High School, A Cover Township School District, and we are so very, very proud of you. And we thank you um, for your efforts and the passion that you have put in um, into something that you enjoy. And I mentioned we're doing well in athletics. I mentioned we're doing well in activities. We're doing well in academics. And this is the time of the year, at the end of the year, we're gonna hear more and more about the scholarship scholarships that our students receive, more about, more about where our students are going to be going to college and, colleges and universities. And we want to continue that. Um, and you know, don't ever, ever anyone say that you know, nothing's happened in EHT because we, we have so much to be proud of. And it's because of you, the students. So thank you very much. Um, this is Superintendent's Award to go along with the individual awards that you did receive in my letter. Um, but this acknowledges um, your, your efforts as being Mo Atlanta County Mock Trial Champions, and Mr. Martyrone, um, you could put that in, frame that and put that in your classroom to serve as an example because now <laughs> other students have to uh, live up to uh, the standards that you have set, and they're pretty darn high when you're being you know, that champion. So thank you, thank you for the time that you put in, and thank you for the attorney who, who assisted and gave your time to our school district and to our students. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. I'll try to be um, brief. I think, I think sometimes that mock trial is something that's a little um, misunderstood. Uh, I think sometimes when people hear about mock trial, they think it's just a bunch of us sitting around uh, debating should there be a right to this or that. Uh, and that's really very little of what we do. Uh, as Mr. Martyr and, and, and Darren and others have said, we're really doing uh, kind of what lawyers do. Uh, you know, we're analyzing, we're critically thinking, we're arguing back and forth. Of course, that's part of it, but it's really about the, uh, the critical thinking skills. And more importantly, I think it's about the ability to stand up uh, in a courtroom, or in this case, sit in front of a computer screen for this year, um, be able to argue a case. And that is something that is incredibly uh, difficult to do. And uh, I have been really fortunate and very proud to be able to, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, you know, post a little bit and say lead this team uh, because that, that's how I, I look at it. Um, I really tried to lead this team the best that I could and I hope I did all of these incredible individuals standing here and Mr. Seppi sitting in the back. A very proud job. So thank you very much, Dr. Gucci. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Okay, yep, if they have to get to their studies and their <laughs> activities, don't teach her here. Don't teach her. That's, that's okay. You're more than welcome to stay, but it's okay if you have to leave. They have government on Thursday.